And um, now the chair for this session, honorable speakers, members of parliament, and dear colleagues and friends. It is an honor for me to address this August Assembly for the first time in my capacity as the Speaker of the National Assembly of the United Republic of Tanzania. Having assumed this position a few months ago, or two months to be more precise, please accept warm wishes from the members of Parliament of Tanzania. We are gathered here today at a time when the planet Earth stands at a perilous point. This August Assembly comes just a few months after the critical meeting of COP26 in Glasgow. The world is reeling from the devastating effects of COVID-19 pandemic. All these come in the backdrop of the climate crisis that has spared no part of the globe. As we reflect on how we can together build back better, let us seize this moment to discuss the critical role of parliaments to support governments in achieving net zero to save the planet. Madam Chair, Honorable Speakers, Members of Parliament, dear colleagues and friends, Seven years ago, in the landmark Paris Agreement, countries made commitments to address the vagaries of climate change through various measures, adaptation, mitigation, loss and damage, financing and developing nationally deter uh, determined contributions. Since then, some milestones have been achieved. However, the threat to planet Earth remains huge and real. As fast as the click of the clock, we have witnessed the surging of the consequences of the climate crisis. Severe floods, prolonged droughts, sea level rise, declining crop yield, food insecurity, all of which have adversely affected human lives. It was against this backdrop that COP26 was held in Glasgow. Given the importance of that meeting, the United Republic of Tanzania was represented at the highest level by Her Excellence, the President, Madam Samia Sulu Hassan. The President shared Tanzania's efforts in addressing climate crisis and reaffirmed our country's commitment to attain net zero. Speaking to the urgence of the matter, President Samia Sulu Hassan called on other world leaders to take action without any further delay. Indeed, in that meeting, it became crystal clear the world is at a tipping point. Our failure to act timely means failure to preserve planet Earth for our generations, but also future generations. Madam Chair, Honorable Speakers, Members of Parliament and colleagues, one of the areas that are still lagging behind to attain our set objectives is climate financing. At this point in time, parliaments have to take their rightful position, particularly in achieving net zero. Priority has to be given to support enactment of budgets that aim at curbing greenhouse gas emissions. In my own native country of Tanzania, the parliament has undertaken an historic position in approving the construction of a huge hydropower dam to meet the country's energy needs sustainably. It has also approved budgets for the development of a rapid transport system and construction of a standard gauge railway, all of which will further enhance the country's commitment, in um, commitment to using clean energy to reach the long-term objective of attaining uh, net zero. There is no doubt that national parliaments have a huge role to play in their own countries in combating climate change. Additionally, International partnership will be absolutely critical. 
to fully address the climate crisis of our time, we need to bring disjointed efforts together and forge new partnerships. In our unity, parliaments should support governments to fulfill their targets and goals of the 2030 agenda to combat climate change and its impact. In particular, we have to urge in one voice developed countries to keep their promise of providing 100, US dollars, uh, 100 billion US dollars per year for climate action by 2023, uh, a goal that could not be fulfilled by 2020. Madam Chair, Honorable Speakers, dear friends, at, at this juncture, I would like to call on all parliaments to fully exercise our oversight role in ensuring that our governments meet their commitment of addressing climate change by providing sustainable solutions. Getting to net zero can be done. Our father of the nation, Julius Nyerere, affectionately called uh, Mualimu, a Swahili word for teacher, always inspired us with the words, it can be done, play your part. I am happy to be his voice today to motivate this August Assembly by saying it can be done. Let us play our part. I thank you for your attention. Gracias.